Who's to say if I'm going the right way Or where I'm supposed to be I guess I'll mess it up again Kinda strange that I'm running in circles When no one is holding my leash Yeah, I just make the same mistakes And I don't wanna talk about it Let's just see how bad this gets I'm 30 something now And everybody seems to have their shit together While I'm just passed out drunk And I can't even talk I just wanna be 18 again What's gonna weigh you down When all you do is hang out with your friends I just wanna feel 18 again internet friends welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm Michiwi and I'm on a weight loss journey if you're not new here hello again uh, I didn't really plan out that intro sorry <laughs> so today I was planning on talking to you guys while I cleaned my makeup brushes and kind of reorganized my hair accessories area and yes uh, I am still going to do that just just expect it to be b-roll because Steven works from home and he is on calls all day and the bathroom and his work area are separated by one thin wall. So rather than disrupt his work with my hobby, I decided I'm gonna talk to you guys in my sanctioned YouTube room. Like actually put it to good use. It is very hot in here. I do have a window open. We have a lot of crows, like a lot of crows. So consider those nature ASMR. Also, I love crows, so I'm not mad about our neighborhood having tons of crows. Anyway. I did have something I wanted to talk about today, which was a generalized, why do I show you guys so much stuff that might seem like common knowledge to the average person? I guarantee you I am not questioning anyone's intelligence on that. It is literally stuff that I am figuring out as I go because I greatly neglected information surrounding nutrition. So even though my partner would tell me to eat keto, I never really understood why he was suggesting it. I had to research it and I did try it before even researching it and went on it. Not recommended. But through knowledge and my own investigations and really trying to arm myself with as much information as possible, I think I have come up with my own diet plan that is sustainable, healthy, nutritious, and delicious, all that jazz. It is true that not every one size fits all. Some people need a more anti-inflammatory diet. Some people cannot handle seafood. There are food allergies. And yes, calories and consistency is the average majority will work for most people go-to plan. But I would say not everybody knows what your calorie count should be. There are body scans, body measurements that I had to work with with my doctor to know where my weight at its healthiest possible weight would be. And that has a lot to do with body fat percentage in certain areas of the body. But even after that, she had to refer me to a dietitian who should have helped me come up with a sustainable plan for myself, for me. <laughs> she didn't. She was very biased and she wanted me to become a vegan and made it so that veganism would be the only option for me. That is not how that should work. <laughs> and just so you guys know, if you're working with a dietitian, they should be asking questions like, what is your circumstances around money? Are you living in a food desert? Uh, what are your daily meal prep time allowances? What does your ideal plan look like to you? These are all questions they should be asking you before telling you something. If they don't, uh, there's an issue. Okay, so now that all that is out of the, the precursor, I wanna let you guys know something that just dawned on me like last week and I've been weighing my food for months and months and months now and it just dawned on me. Sometimes I can be a little slow. I have been 
using ounces when weighing my food and then switching it to like with the water or liquids, gallons, ounces by liquid. I can't remember all that stuff. Just use grams. Just use grams because they can be transferred into milliliters. If you weigh something in a gram that is a liquid, just change it to milliliter and it's the same thing. You won't have to keep skipping through. So I have messed up constantly on my unit of measurements because I didn't have the right thing and it's very hard to convert ounces and grams and milliliters and liters and all that stuff. Just use grams. <laughs> it's just a way to save yourself some time. I honestly don't know how I missed that for like I'd say a year. I, I just missed it. <laughs> that is my exact point that I'm making today. That's that's the point of this whole video, I suppose, <laughs> is you can tell someone something constantly. You can lead a horse to water. You can say, hey, this is water. You're thirsty. It isn't until that person is going to feel the thirst, touch the water and go, oh, this quenched my thirst. Will something click? Hopefully. I feel like I've been drinking that water for a while and finally got full from it and said, oh, I feel satisfied. <laughs> Water's good. But I mean, I got there. So that's the important part. I also wanted to showcase that it's not perfect. People are not perfect. Mistakes will happen. Realizations will happen over time. Uh, like another thing, when I first started my YouTube journey vlogging it, I would get very triggered by the scale. And I would say, oh, I'm not triggered by it. And then I would be triggered by it. Through learning to recognize my trends, doing a daily weight that averages out as a weekly, I was able to go, okay, scale's jumping around my weekly average is decreasing consistently. And you know, I did hit a plateau. I knew that would happen because I have been on a journey for so long and I hit a plateau at the 175 mark and I knew how long it would take and I knew how frustrating it would be. So when consistency is constantly preached, it, it really means you gotta stick through that hard time of getting your head messed with. It's getting aggravating eating the same foods. You really want to go after the foods that bring you comfort and you're telling yourself you can't, but also hating yourself when you give in. These are all things that the average person will struggle with in some form because everyone wants to be perfect. We all wanna be the inspiration, not the warning. These are all normal feelings to have. What will make you the inspiration is that you continue to try. You don't have to go out there and share your story. You don't have to try and educate other people you just doing your good enough and really keeping at it and reminding yourself that consistency is key is what will make you an inspiration. You fighting against your own demons, being a better person, that's inspiring. And it is inspiring because we all know what it's like to have to fight against it. Some more than others, but when people are saying your trauma is your trauma and it is valid, it's because it is. Everybody's perfect, perfect. Can't you see nobody's perfect except probably me?
quick talk about mangoes because I have never had them on my channel before so I haven't explored any nutritional information about them and also they're in season and they taste amazing. So first things first, mangoes are a superfood. Yay! They're low in fat, sodium, and cholesterol and contain vitamins such as vitamin A, E, and K as well as potassium, magnesium, and copper. Also, the peel, pulp, and seed all contain polyphenols, which do a whole bunch of stuff, but polyphenols help with supporting the heart health, immune system, skin health, and the body's ability to help fight off diseases and infections. They are high in natural sugars, though. To keep your portions reasonable and also not spike your blood pressure too much, they recommend one cup of fresh mango or half a cup dried. And that's not counting if it was added sugars with the dried. A good rule of thumb is not to exceed two cups per day. And last but not least, what makes mangoes a superfood is that they contain over 20 different vitamins and minerals. If I've piqued your interest and you do want to go buy a mango, they recommend that you start by cutting off the tip where the stem is and then peeling down and then working your way around the seed. Pretty simple and there are multiple ways to do it. It's a pretty easy food to enjoy. I mean, it would have been great with the salsa, which is why I paired it with the shrimp. Uh, I was pretty carb heavy today. I, you know, I already mentioned Po Buddy's Nerfix. <laughs> I wanted some carbs today. I did make sure to have protein. I did try and prioritize protein. Uh, I'm at 80 grams right now with 48 grams of fat. I have 175 calories left to get me to 1400. I'm gonna probably do a tablespoon of peanut butter and like half a sliced apple. Get in some more fiber. If you guys noticed, I also did quite a bit of processed foods for me on my diet. I have been really cutting back on it. That's fine for today. As long as it is an occasion and not a trend, I consider that part of my healthy lifestyle balance. And balance is the name of the game. I think that is a perfect note to end off on. So I will say thank you for joining me again today, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!